What's going on guys, Crypto Renegade here. In today's video, I wanted to do a full review of the brand new Trezor Suite, which is now out of beta. So I have a previous video where I went over the beta and some of the features that they were working on. It's now officially released. So if you own a Trezor, you'll wanna update and download the newest version, which you can do from the website, trezor.io. And it will prompt you, of course, to update your firmware on your device, as well as update the software itself to get all the features, which we're about to dive into right now, all the main features that were not on the beta. Stay tuned, you're not gonna wanna miss this one. All right, guys, welcome back. So in today's video, I just wanted to do a quick update to the Trezor Suite which they had a beta which was released back in actually January of 2021 and as of shooting this which is now July 14th 2021 it's fully released they worked out all the bugs and they've added some new features which I think you guys are really gonna like first off as you can see this is the application for Trezor Suite and actually it initially comes off as dark mode and it has some new animation. So I'm gonna go ahead and connect my Trezor now and then we'll walk you through some of the features right now. So this is the screen. You, all, you have an option of choosing dark mode or the old uh, regular just bright or white mode, but I prefer the dark mode myself. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug in my Trezor. As you can see, it will update on the screen showing that it's been connected. And for the purposes of this demo, it's just gonna be the Trezor 1, since I don't have my Trezor Model T on me. So just give me one second here, I'm gonna enter in my pin. All right, so it is loading up now, as you can see. And I mentioned in the last video that there is a sort of privacy mode, which is enabled here. You can click that on or off, but it basically blocks any of the balances. It blocks any of the uh, coins that you have, just any sensitive, type of information has been sort of disabled. So in the top left, you can see that the device is actually connected when you hover over it. Uh, but I wanna talk about some of the newer features. Number one, uh, if you're new to the Treasure Suite, there's a button here, as you can see in the bottom right corner. Um, and this allows you to have a guide for privacy, security, the basics of how to operate it and the supported cryptos, and also a link to report any bugs or feedback. So this will help you navigate if you need to, but hopefully this video will show that you don't need that. But ultimately, this dashboard is just a splash page for your portfolio, your transactions, any coins that you have, what the current price is, any security notifications, and then of course, links to the external Trezor news on their Medium site. So I'm gonna go over here quickly to accounts so you could take a look here. And on the accounts, obviously everything's blacked out here, and it shows you here there's a new default, uh, which allows you to have lowercase letters only, which essentially just makes sure that you're not gonna have any sort of typos or character mistypes or anything like that. And it's going to just make things easier for you to confirm the upper and lowercase letters as you confirm transactions. Initially, we're gonna get into another feature here where if you weren't using the swap or the coin swap or trade feature earlier, it's now been integrated with invitee.io, which again, I'll leave links for all of these and the treasures in the description. So no matter what, if you decide to use it, you will get the best price. But ultimately on the left here, you're gonna see all your different accounts. And for the Trezor one, all the native applications basically just are the same. You're not getting anything added, but there's a new feature which we're gonna talk about in just a second. So for example, on Bitcoin, uh, the new feature that I'm looking at here directly is buy BTC. So now you can buy BTC directly. I'm gonna give you an example of how this works. You can even sell Bitcoin directly. Uh, you can exchange it between different coins, You know, depending on what it is that you want, different stable coins and other coins that are available as you can see in the drop down menu and then there is an option to spend where if you want to go through the partner site and use bit refill you can buy gift card prepaid gift cards and things like that if you want but just to give you uh, an idea of how this works like so for example if i want to buy 500 dollars worth of bitcoin all i have to do and i and again i can choose between which country i'm in since i'm in the u.s i'm not going to choose anything else but it gives you different offers depending on your geographical location so as you can see here, let's pretend for a second, I'm gonna buy 500 in Bitcoin directly and click on compare offers. And it's gonna give me a list here of all the different options I have for buying Bitcoin 
through the partner sites and because I have different options I can choose the best method I can choose the best fee I can choose the best price etc so it gives you here if I want to buy 500 this is the total amount that you'll get it shows you the provider it shows you which payment method you can use and include this is the total price including all fees so on and so forth so for example if I go through here and scroll through here obviously the best bank for my buck here is going to be obviously the top one so the top one gives you the best deal and it goes down from there so if I want to get this deal it gives me a, a disclaimer here that you know please understand that crypto is new that it crypto is volatile blah 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 if you check the I read and agreed and you hit confirm it gives you an option here to confirm it directly on Trezor so if you want to actually do this directly on your device you can and then if you need to connect a bank or connect any other information through the third party site it will allow you to do that so I wanted to give you sort of a demo of how that works it's the same process for selling it's the same process for exchanging it'll have you confirm it on the device so that is a new integrated feature which does give you better options and more fees and then down here it shows you any of the fees itself you know how many satoshis per byte and so on so that's feature number one that is actually pretty cool here uh, the other one is if you go over to the settings it's kind of broken down based on the application so you can change all your basic set settings here enable labeling but the one briefly i want to talk about here is now tor is integrated if you're unfamiliar with tor this is basically a, a privacy browser where it goes through multiple hops and so you can toggle on or off tor for added security directly in app which is nice and then you just simply toggle it on if you want to do that it takes a little while to turn on so i'm not going to do it for the purposes of this video but i did test it earlier and it's fantastic once it turns on in about five minutes everything is secure everything is private and it's excellent gives you an option here if you want to use a direct port if you're an advanced user and then there is an option here to open all the treasure links or all the external links to go to dot onion links which is how tor works is used in a dot onion format um, here if you want to disable dark mode you can so on and so forth and then it gives you all the updates for the current version that you're in uh, on the device itself it'll of course it gives you an option to check the backup it allows you to uh, confirm if your firmware version is out of date and if you want to do things like add passphrases or change pins and change the device name you can do that at any time auto lock time you can you know set it up however you want and then ultimately on the crypto side here this is where you can enable all your coins now being that it's on a Trezor one device these are all the native applications native meaning they're built directly into the suite here where I can manage and use them send receive and so on they're all here so all, you can just simply toggle on or off and then there's advanced settings depending on if you want to set up your own node or anything more technical and then you can also enable test nets if you want so for example, ADA, Cardano, XRP, Tezos, these are just three examples of coins that only work on Trezor Model T and not the Trezor Model 1. The most important thing here is that if you go to trezor.io slash coins, it's gonna give you a full breakdown. So if you're ever unsure of which coins work on my Trezor 1 or which coins will work on my Trezor Model T, you can go to trezor.io slash coins this will give you a full chart and breakdown of if your specific coin will work on your device. So this is extremely important. I got a lot of questions about that last time, not knowing which which coins will work if I have a Trezor 1 or if I have a Trezor Model T. You just wanna make sure that you go to that URL, which will be on the screen here, and it will take you directly to where it will answer those questions. So that's very important. And then the final thing that I wanted to point out here is there was a lot of questions around ERC-20 tokens being built into the suite. So I wanna show you kind of how this works and there's a little bit of a workaround needed, especially if you're using a Trezor One device. So if you go to accounts, obviously Ethereum is what the platform where ERC-20 tokens are on. If you click on Ethereum here, you'll see that there's an overview, send, receive, trade, uh, same as before. Obviously you can receive or buy and tokens is where you want to go so if you have an ERC 20 token such as Uniswap such as Chainlink such as Aave just to name a few examples what you would need to do here is just click the button that says add token and as you can see it's going to ask you to add the ERC 20 token address 
What this means is you will need to either go to CoinMarketCap or CoinGecko or directly to the developer's website and it will give you an ERC20 token address. This is going to be a contract address. You simply copy and paste the long stream of letters and numbers in here and click add token. And as soon as you do that, you'll see it pop up on the left side here. So I just wanted to point that out that more than 1500 ERC20 tokens are gonna work on both the Trezor 1 as well as the Trezor Model T. And again, if you're unsure if your coin works, go to trezor.io slash coins, it'll confirm. And then to here, if you wanna add tokens, so if I wanna add Chainlink or Uniswap or Aave, I simply go to their websites or CoinMarketCap or CoinGecko or whatever, confirm I have the right token address, click it in here and then add the token and then I can then manage it on the left, send, receive, swap, etc. Same thing works if I wanna trade anything or exchange. So for example, if I have Ethereum, I can swap it directly for a different coin, you know, any sort of ERC20 tokens that are already here or other tokens that are not ERC20, you can still swap them directly here. But those are the main features and changes that weren't in the beta that I wanted to kind of point out to you. And they're gonna to continue to add on more coins, more features, um, some certain lending and other options that are coming down the pipe, but that's gonna be several months away, probably into 2022. But mainly, you just wanna make sure that you can add, you know that you can add your specific ERC20 tokens. Again, check those different websites if you're unsure if your coin is supported, as well as copying and pasting the token address so that you can add it on your Ethereum here. So that's pretty straightforward. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know down in the comments. If there's anything that I left out that you want wanted to answer, I'll do my best to answer it for you. And then go ahead and click in the top right corner here, and I'm gonna link you to a video on the previous beta where it did more of a breakdown of all the other intermittent features, kind of a, kind of a more in-depth overview of the previous beta that I did six months ago. And then from there, if you have any other questions, just let me know in the comments and we will go from there. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up. Crypto Renegade out.